Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is Vele's Labyrinth in the Cosmodrome. There's going to be three barriers and one unstoppable. I'm going to pen a one minute guide up to the top right corner, and I'll also put a link in the description. Alright, moving into the build guide, we're going to be using Arc Strider with Gathering Storm. Our class ability is going to be Gambler's Dodge, so when we dodge near enemies, it will fully recharge our melee ability. I'm using Triple Jump, but you could use whatever jump you want. The melee is going to be Combination Blow, so we can stack damage on our melee. I'm going to use storm grenades, but you could use pulse grenades or skip grenades. Moving on to the aspects, let's start with flow state. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. And lethal current. After dodging, our next melee will jolt targets. This is also great because if you melee a jolted unstoppable, it will blind it, causing it to stun. Moving on to fragments, we're going to have spark of resistance. While we're surrounded, we take less damage. Spark of feedback, when we take melee damage, we will deal more melee damage. Spark of Ions, defeat an 8-jolted target, creates an Ionic Trace. And Spark of Shock, your Arc Grenade will jolt targets. Alright, moving on to the weapons. We're going to be using an Auto Rifle for Barrier Shields. A 1-2 Punch Shotgun, since this will be a melee build. Leviathan's Breath for boss damage, as well as unstoppable damage. And we could use it on barriers if needed. Moving on to the Artifact Mods, the most important ones being Thunder Retort, making our super deal more damage if cast while critical or amplified. Electric Armor, which gives us increased damage resistance while amplified. And Ani Strikes twice after throwing an arc grenade, grain increased grenade recharge for a short time. Moving on to the mods, we're going to have two hands on on the helmet to get our super energy back really fast. A heavy hammo finder just in case. We're going to have two heavy handeds on our gloves so we can make bigger orbs. Those orbs are going to be used to fuel emergency reinforcement. We're going to use powerful attraction mods to pick up the orbs easily. And since we're going to be making so many orbs, we're going to have better already and recuperation just for safety. The exotic of choice today is Assassin's Cow. Alright, moving on to the Lost Sector. Is this going to have a bit of a puzzle at the beginning? In this first room, there's going to be a barrier. We're going to try to get combination bullet times three before we deal with the barrier. Combination bullet times three will allow us to kill this barrier without him ever popping his shield. The first rune for this area is going to be over here on the left, but it's not always in this spot. So like I said earlier, I'm going to have a puzzle guide in the description. Once you find both the runes, you just shoot the wall right there and head down here to the next barrier. Like I said, uh, we're going to attempt to get combination blow times three before we fight the barrier out here. It's a bit more difficult to apply here because of the Cursed Thrall. Once again, combination blow times three makes it so the barrier never does its barrier. We're just gonna skip past the rest of the ads, trying to keep combination blow stacked. Once again, another barrier. That never got to do its shield. There is going to be an unstoppable right up here around this corner. I'm going to shoot a Leviathan's Breath at this Shrieker. Now in order to get the boss to spawn, we just have to sit here and kill adds for a while. It takes about a minute. And here's the boss, so we're just going to throw our super at it, a Leviathan's Breath Shot, and start heading towards the chest. And if it needs more damage, we'll apply more damage when we get here. That's all there is to it today, guys. Happy farming.